Kicking off today's list at number 10 is this 1990 Flare Update, card number U87. This card has a population of 1,294 in a PSA 10 and 2,338 in a PSA 9. The average sale of this card in a PSA 10 is $107.50, while the highest recorded sale comes in a penny short of $130. Coming in at number 9 on our list is this 1990 score traded Frank Thomas rookie, card number 86T. It has a population of 917 in a PSA 10 and 768 in a PSA 9. The average sale of this card in a PSA 10 is $108.06 and the highest recorded sale comes in at $152.50. The 1990 score makes back-to-back -back appearances on our list at number 8, this time with Frank Thomas's first round pick rookie from the 1990 score base set, card number 663. This card in a PSA 10 has a population of 1,373, and there is also 2,917 PSA 9s in existence as well. The average sale price of this card is $147.29. While the highest recorded sale recently broke the $200 mark at auction, coming in at $207.50. Frank Thomas's 1990 Topps rookie card makes the list at number 7, with card number 414, and this definitely won't be the last time we see card number 414 on today's list. This card has one of today's largest population reports with 2,939 PSA 10s, nearly triple that amount with 8,538 PSA 9s, and there is also 3,031 PSA 8s. The average sale price in a PSA 10 is $227.73, while the highest recorded sale comes in at $306 even. A new card set comes in at number 6 with this 1990 Bowman Frank Thomas rookie, card number 320. This card has a population of 620 in a PSA 10, while having a population of 1,590 in a PSA 9. This card has a rather lower average sale price of only $154.08, but makes up for it with a recent high recorded sale of $417 even. With the same card number of 414, this 1990 Opeechee rookie card breaks the top 5 of today's list. Opeechee had much smaller print runs compared to Topps, and the population reports reflect this. This Frank Thomas rookie has a population of only 120 PSA 10s and only 200 PSA 9s. The prices really start to heat up during the top 5 of our list, as the average sale price of this card is $539.32 while the highest recorded sale comes in a penny short of $650. Coming in on number 4 on our list is this 1990 Leaf Frank Thomas Rookie, card number 300. While I mentioned the sales prices really start to heat up during the top 5, this Leaf Rookie card has the largest population report of today's episode. There's 3,628 PSA 10s, compared to a massive 10,205 PSA 9s. There is even 3,826 PSA 8s in existence as well. After doing research for this video, when I started to write up the script for the audio, I honestly had to stop and look at the pop reports for the PSA 9s back up to see if I had made a mistake. This Leaf Rookie card has an average sale price of $489.50, while the highest recorded sale comes in at $750 even. Despite having such a high population report, the sale price of this card shows that this is his most sought after base rookie card of all the card manufacturers. The 
The card manufacturer Bowman breaks the top three of today's list with this Bowman Tiffany Frank Thomas Rookie, card number 320. This card has a population of 102 in a PSA 10, 575 in a PSA 9, and 289 in a PSA 8. The average sale price of this card in a PSA 10 is $625, while the highest recorded sale comes in at $841 even. We get back-to-back -back Tiffany cards as this Frank Thomas 1990 Topps Tiffany Rookie makes our list at number two. Because the Tiffany cards were limited to such small print runs, the pop report is rather small just like our previous card. This Topps Tiffany has a population of 103 in a PSA 10, 424 in a PSA 9. This card is the first to break the four figure mark on today's list as the average sale price comes in at $1,005.21 and the highest recorded sale comes in at $1,450 even. If I were to make a list of the most iconic air cards from the Junk Wax era, or any era for that matter, this 1990 Topps Frank Thomas No Name on Front would definitely atop that list as well, as this card makes number one on today's episode. This air card has a population of only one PSA 10. There is also 19 PSA 9s and 83 PSA 8s. With a population of only one PSA 10 in existence, this card has only knowingly hit the open market once, coming way back in May of 2012 with a recorded sale of $24,444 even. Wow. While PSA did not feature a picture of this card in the listing on their website, the link to this sale of the card from back in May of 2012 is still available on their website, and I recommend taking a look at the original listing 